Aloha everyone, my name is Charles and this is the Hawaii Volcano Watch Report. First up is the Mauna Loa Volcano. USGS reported on Thursday, April 22nd, 2021 at 8.35 a.m. Hawaii Standard Time that an earthquake swarm occurred southwest of Mauna Loa Summit on April 16th through the 17th. During the past week, HVO seismometers recorded approximately 175 small magnitude earthquakes below Mauna Loa. Most of these quakes were concentrated below the summit and the upper elevation flanks of the volcano. Nearly all of the earthquakes were less than magnitude 3 and occurred mostly at depths of less than 8 kilometers or about 5 miles below ground level. Global positioning system measurements continue to show a slightly extensional summit deformation pattern over the past week. While gas concentrations at 0 parts per million for SO2 and fumeral temperatures which were below 100 degrees Celsius or 212 degrees Fahrenheit at both the summit and the sulfur cone on the southwest drift zone remain stable. Webcam views have shown no changes to the volcanic landscape on Mount Aloha over the past week as well. That concludes the USGS report for the Mount Aloha volcano. Moving on to the Kilauea Volcano, the USGS reported on Friday, April 23, 2021 at 6.07 a.m. Hawaii Standard Time that the lava infusion from the west vent continues to supply the lava lake within the Halemaumau crater. The west vent is consistently infusing lava at a low rate through a submerged inlet to the lake. Lava circulation and intermittent foundering of crust continue in the western portion of the lava lake with lava oozing out sporadically in areas along the perimeter of the lake. The total depth of the lake is 227 meters or 744 feet this morning as measured by a continuous laser rangefinder on the active western portion of the lake. Stagnant and solidified lava crust covers the eastern portion of the lake and is slowly growing westward. Summit observations show that the most recent sulfur dioxide emission rate, which was measured on April 14th, was 950 tons per day. This is elevated compared to the rates in the months before the eruption started on December 20th, which were less than 100 tons per day, but are lower than the emission rates from the pre-2018 lava lake, which was around 5,000 tons per day. Summit tilt meters recorded minor change over the past 24 hours, while seismicity remains stable with elevated tremor. Looking at the East Rift Zone, there was no unusual activity noted in the region. Geodetic monitors indicate that the Summit and Upper East Rift Zone, which is between the Summit and Puo'o'o, is refilling at rates similar to those measured over the past two years and before the December 2020 eruption. SO2 and H2S emissions from Puo were below instrumental detection levels when last measured on January 7, 2021. To check in on the Kilauea volcano eruption at any time, be sure to check out the live 24-7 stream currently being hosted here on Doing Hawaii. That concludes this edition of the Hawaii Volcano Watch Report. Be sure to click that subscribe button and bell icon. And don't forget to show that like button some aloha as well. Mahalo for watching and you have an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening.